Water plus renewable energy equals fuel to run an automobile. Sounds like science fiction. But Toyota is developing something revolutionary in their factory. And this is no average automobile. We're talking about a groundbreaking new hydrogen-powered car. You've probably heard of the Mirai. Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicle that generates electricity via fuel cells. Toyota has created something entirely new. It's dubbed the New Hydrogen Combustion Engine, and this technology could be a game changer in the automotive market. Toyota, unlike other automakers that have gone all-electric, is adopting a different approach. But it's not just about standing out. It's all about creating a sea change in how the automobile of the future will be powered. So let's explore this technology. We'll discuss Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine, how it works, and what it means for the industry. We're all aware that our planet is facing the challenge of global warming. According to GlobalCitizen.org, the transport industry accounts for 15% of global carbon emissions. And it's no secret that traditional combustion engines have been a major source of pollution. While electric vehicles are becoming increasingly popular, others may argue that they are not the only option. Hydrogen is the most abundant substance on the planet, and once produced can be stored indefinitely. Hydrogen fuel is a proven technology currently being used in trains, buildings, and ships. So what's the big deal with hydrogen engines? They have larger ranges and do not require charging like electric cars. Water is the only thing that comes out of the exhaust pipe. That's correct, there are no dangerous contaminants. You may be wondering how it all works. A fuel cell is used in current hydrogen engines to turn hydrogen into electricity. Toyota began lowering its reliance on fossil fuels with the introduction of the Prius since 1997. They've been on the ecologically conscious bandwagon for a while, but they're not alone. Automakers all over the world are working to create environmentally friendly automobiles that run on solar, electric, or hydrogen power. It's not only about rescuing the environment, it is all about ensuring energy security, improving air quality, and reducing environmental impact. Furthermore, once produced, hydrogen is efficient and cost-effective to distribute. The majority of new hydrogen refueling stations produce hydrogen on-site via electrolysis using 100% renewable excess energy. The best thing is that these stations are containerized and require only water and power to operate. Green tariffs are used to supply power, and at some stations, solar or wind power is generated on-site. Toyota claims to have invented a new method of harnessing the power of hydrogen. Their engineering team recently unveiled the Corolla Cross A2, a revolutionary prototype automobile powered by a hydrogen combustion engine. Toyota has been developing a new car using a hydrogen combustion engine, as opposed to the fuel cell technology that powers its previous hydrogen-powered vehicle, the Toyota Mirai. Toyota is not the first automaker exploring the potential of hydrogen technology. BMW came out with the 750 HL in 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. The BMW Hydrogen 7 was based on a regular gasoline-powered six-cylinder V12, but with certain changes to burn both hydrogen and gasoline. It's a two-fuel engine. To make matters even more interesting, only 100 were ever built, but they had dangerous drawbacks. For starters, hydrogen is incredibly flammable, so think twice before lighting a match near your hydrogen-powered vehicle. Hydrogen is also difficult to process and store, not to mention nitrous oxide, which is produced during the combustion process. While not as dangerous as carbon monoxide, the EPA still considers nitrous oxide a contaminant. Toyota, on the other hand, argues that there is currently no one solution to lowering car emissions or meeting consumer transportation needs. It all comes down to getting the appropriate car to the right place, at the right time, at the right price. As a result, investments must be made in all sectors to address immediate, medium-term, and long-term needs. That's where hydrogen comes in. As an essential component of Toyota's Beyond Zero strategy, they want to accomplish multiple goals with their A2. You may be wondering, what is A2? It's Toyota's trade name for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, and it appears that this is the future of car technology. So, how exactly does this work? The GR Corolla H2 has a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine. But there's a catch, it runs on liquid hydrogen. Toyota achieves this by storing the extremely combustible hydrogen in strong armored fuel tanks. The car can travel up to 300 kilometers on just 5 kilograms of hydrogen. And all it produces is 50 liters of water. Talk about being ecologically conscious. Let us now discuss power. Toyota has also collaborated with Yamaha Motor 
to develop a hydrogen-powered V8 engine. You heard right, a hydrogen-powered V8 with 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The true showstopper, though, is the 8 into 1 top-mounted exhaust manifold, which produces a distinct high-frequency sound. As if that weren't enough, hydrogen-powered automobiles offer a longer range and faster refueling periods than electric ones. The GR Yaris A2 takes only 90 seconds to refuel. Furthermore, it minimizes the demand for scarce resources, such as lithium and nickel, which are utilized in hefty battery packs. A2 technology is something to look forward to. With real-world testing now beginning, we won't have to wait long before we see these cars on the road. And when it does, forget everything you know about electric vehicles, because the Toyota hydrogen combustion engine now performs them. The main advantage is that it has a longer range in refueling is as quick as at a NASCAR race. This technology is now not only advantageous to drivers, but it is also environmentally sustainable. The Corolla Cross A2 concept car is now being tested in northern Japan for real-world evaluation and winter road conditions. With high hopes for hydrogen, the Japanese government plans to have 200,000 fuel cell-powered automobiles on the road by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030. More refueling stations are being planned around the country. Let us now discuss the sound. Not only does it sound powerful, but the exhaust spark is identical to that of a well-tuned gasoline-powered vehicle. Toyota's unique hydrogen engine emits almost no carbon dioxide because it uses no fossil fuel. It does emit some harmful fumes, but substantially less than a pure petrol vehicle. But what about safety, you may inquire? Toyota has that covered as well. Stronger connecting rods, tougher valves and valve seats, and fuel injectors that use petrol instead of liquid have all be Toyota's priority. Let us now get down to business. What advantages does this new technology provide? Let's start with the major disadvantage of charging electric vehicles. We've all heard the horror stories of chargers that don't work or the inability to even find a charging station. But it's no big problem with hydrogen. It takes only 90 seconds to fill up on hydrogen. Although there aren't many hydrogen fueling locations right now, they can easily be integrated well into standard petrol stations. Furthermore, the much smaller battery in the H2 uses fewer raw materials such as lithium or nickel, making it even more eco-friendly. Keep an eye on what Toyota is doing here with the hydrogen combustion engine. To use only water and renewable energy to produce fuel to run an automobile is truly a remarkable feat of engineering. Look out for our next video and stay safe.